In this video, we're going to look at how to differentiate composite power functions using the chain rule. Suppose we want to differentiate the composite power function y is equal to x plus 5 to the power of 8. Instead of expanding the bracket and differentiating it term by term, which is quite inefficient, we can do it more efficiently using the chain rule. What we do is we take the original power and put it at the front. We then reduce the power of the original function by 1, so we have 8 times x plus 5 to the power of 7, and we multiply by the derivative of what's inside the bracket, which in this case is 1. So we're going to get 8 times x plus 5 to the 7. For our next example, we've got y is equal to 1 minus 2x to the power of 5. Again, using the chain rule, we put the power of 5 at the front. We reduce the power of the original function by 1. So we have 5 times 1 minus 2x to the 4. And we multiply by the derivative of what's inside the bracket, which is negative 2. Simplifying this, we get negative 10 times 1 minus 2x to the power of 4. Our third example, we've got y is equal to x squared plus 4 to the power of 11. Applying the chain rule again, dy on dx, we're going to put the power 11 at the front. We're going to reduce the power of the original function by 1, so we get 11 times x squared plus 4 to the power of 10. And we're going to multiply by the derivative of what's inside the bracket. In this case, it is 2x. And when we tidy this up, we're going to get 22x times x squared plus 4 to the power of 10. A fourth example, we've got y is equal to 2x cubed minus x squared plus 1 or to the power of 7. The same idea, to differentiate this, we're going to put the power 7 at the front. We're going to reduce the power of the original function by 1. So that becomes 6. And we're going to multiply by the derivative of what's inside the bracket, which is 6x squared minus 2x, so we can rearrange this a little. We get 7 times 6x squared minus 2x times 2x cubed minus x squared plus 1, or to the 6. But we can factorize out the 2 from this first bracket, so we're going to get 14 times 3x squared minus x times 2x cubed minus x squared plus 1 to the power of 6. For our next example, we've got y is equal to the square root of 1 minus 2x. We can rewrite this as 1 minus 2x to the power of a half. So when we differentiate this, the power of a half comes to the front. We then reduce the original power of a half by 1. So a half minus 1 is negative a half. And we also have to multiply by the derivative of what's inside the bracket, which is negative 2. So this simplifies to negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus 2x. For our last example, we've got y is equal to 4 divided by 3x minus 2 in bracket square. So we rewrite this using negative indices as 4 times 3x minus 2 to the power of negative 2. When we differentiate this, the power of negative 2 comes to the front. We reduce the original power by 1, so minus 2 minus 1 is negative 3. And we also have to multiply by the derivative of what's inside the bracket, which in this case is 3. So we multiply all these together, and we're going to get negative 24 on the top over 3x minus 2 cubed. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed that, please click like and subscribe. We're continuously making more maths videos and we hope to see you all in the next one. Bye for now.